Are you still thinking about Thanksgiving and maybe what you want to serve? You're perfect right now because you're a week out. That's plenty of time, don't you think, to come plenty, up with the menu? Plenty of time, yes. Plenty of time yes. to road test it this weekend before right. the family gets over, right. too. Patrick Prager and Brandon Rainwater from Formaggio at the Rancho Cordova Marriott are joining us this morning, cooking up some butternut squash soup, and I smell something. We smell curry. Yes, I do. We, we do put <laughs> curry in our butternut squash soup. We have all the ingredients over here right next to our pot of boiling soup. Okay, so let's go over some of the things. You have the basic soup ingredients. So the like basic soup ingredients, right. We've got butternut squash. We like to roast that in the oven, uh, get it nice and dark and caramelized with some, with some curry powder and salt. And then all the other vegetables we just chop up and we, we saute off. Then we add the butternut squash soup, some, some white wine, cream, and then we blend it all together. Nice. Yeah. And you get it nice and thin too, it looks like. Yeah, we get it nice and thin. It, I love this soup. It has a great depth of flavor. It's nice and silky in your mouth. And it's, it's beautiful. Can so you do this ahead of time? We can definitely do this ahead of time. And I say it would hold in your, in your refrigerator probably for at least three days. That's good. I think it gets yeah. better as the days go oh, on yeah, too. It kind of absorbs more of that flavor. Okay, yeah. so let's go ahead and start assembling because you have some other things that are going to go with yeah. it. Yeah. So we're going to first put our soup in the bowl. And then we like to, at Formaggio, garnish the soup with a little bit of duck confit and dried cranberries. Okay. So that's what we're going to do here. You just top it. I'm just mm -hmm. going to put a little bit of that in Boy, there. Boy, that makes it super rich, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah. Beautiful. Nice, beautiful soup. And then finally, we finish the soup with a little bit of curry foam. And what, pray tell, is that? So we basically, we take milk, curry powder, um, some aromatics, and then we add a little lecithin to it. Lecithin is a, is a foaming agent. Where do you get lecithin? Lecithin, I lecithin. get it. <laughs> lecithin, right? I get it through my uh, my my food purveyors, but I, I think where where would the average person find um, lecithin? <laughs> I think that if you'd go to any um, top end grocery store, you might find it in the lecithin aisle. In the lecithin aisle, <laughs> aisle B four, right? Right? Yeah. Very so, yeah, cool. There we go. Nice. Do you do this as an appetizer at the restaurant? We do. We do just like that, and it's a, it's a beautiful soup for. For the Thanksgiving season, has wonderful fall flavors. Mm -hmm. Like I said, great, great depth of flavor. Flavor and uh, yeah. What time do you start cooking Thanksgiving morning at the restaurant? I think that we'll start cooking Thanksgiving stuff way before the morning. So um, probably two days in advance, we'll start. We'll start cooking. That's great. You still have room, I assume, for Thanksgiving for people to show up. We do have room. We do have a little bit of room left. Um, you can make reservations online or. And or the information the is call. up there right now, and uh, it will go from 12 until 8. The phone number's there if you'd like to call and get a reservation. We'll be back with more right after this. Less of Less of